Imagine if AI could not only predict how proteins interact but also design entirely new ones to fight diseases like COVID-19 or cancer. In this video, we'll dive into two groundbreaking AI models, AlphaPoo and ORB, which are revolutionizing fields like drug discovery and material science. But before we begin, take a moment to subscribe so you can stay informed on the latest AI trends and updates. Proteins are like the body's engines, managing everything from cell growth to keeping our immune systems in check. They're essential for nearly every biological process. However, proteins don't work in isolation. They interact with other proteins, almost like a key fitting into a lock. These interactions are crucial for functions inside our cells. Thanks to models like AlphaFold, we've made great strides in understanding how proteins interact. AlphaFold helps predict these interactions, which has been a game changer for scientific research. But here's the game changer. While AlphaFold is amazing at predicting how proteins interact, it doesn't create new proteins that can influence or alter those interactions. That's where things get really exciting. Enter Alpha Proteo by Google DeepMind, the new AI system we're discussing today. Unlike AlphaFold, Alpha Proteo doesn't just predict, it designs brand new proteins that can bind to a specific target molecules. Why is this important? These designed proteins, also known as binders, can fast-track research in a variety of fields from drug discovery to understanding diseases and even improving crop resistance to pests. Let's break it down. Creating a protein that tightly binds to a target, like a virus protein responsible for COVID-19, is no small feat. Traditional methods take forever because it's a painstaking process of creating, testing, optimizing, and testing again. It's an endless cycle of trial and error. But with Alpha Proteo, we're talking about a major shortcut. This AI system has been trained on an enormous amount of protein data. Think data sets like the protein data bank and over 100 million predicted structures from AlphaFold. So, it's learned a lot about how proteins interact. When you give Alpha Proteo the structure of a target protein and specify where you want it to bind, it can design a binder protein that fits almost perfectly. It's like handing over the blueprint for a lock and getting a perfectly tailored key in return. And it's not limited to one type of protein. Alpha Proteo can work on proteins related to cancer, viruses like SARS-CoV-2, the one behind COVID-19, and even proteins associated with autoimmune diseases. The results so far have been nothing short of incredible. Alpha Proteo successfully generated binders for seven different target proteins and when tested in the lab, these AI-designed binders show a huge boost in binding strength, anywhere from 3 to 300 times better than current best methods. For example, take VEGFA, a protein linked to cancer and diabetes complications. For the first time, Alpha Proteo designed a protein binder that successfully binds to VEGFA, marking a major milestone. It's not just a one-off success either. In another case, Alpha Proteo designed binders for BHRF1, a viral protein, and 88% of its candidate binders successfully bound to the protein during lab tests. On average, these binders showed a 10 times stronger binding capacity than the best current designs. One of the most highly anticipated targets was the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein, the same one that helps the virus invade our cells. Alpha Proteo not only designed binders for this protein but also had them tested by top research groups like the Francis Crick Institute who confirmed that the binders were highly effective. These AI-designed binders have even been able to block the virus and some of its variants from infecting cells which opens the door to potential virus prevention methods. However, the technology isn't perfect just yet. For example, Alpha Proteo couldn't successfully design a binder for TNFA, a protein associated with autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. But to be fair, TNFA is a notoriously difficult to target and the team specifically chose it to test the system's limits. So, while it's not a win, it shows that they're pushing the AI to improve. 
Strong binding is a critical step, but it's just the beginning when it comes to the real-world applications like drug design. There's a plenty of bioengineering work ahead, but Alpha Proteo has already tackled one of the toughest challenges, designing effective binders. A team behind Alpha Proteo is working with scientists worldwide to enhance the system, and they're being thoughtful about biosecurity. This means ensuring the technology is used for positive purposes, such as developing treatments and improving the environment, rather than anything harmful. They've already partnered with organizations like Nuclear Threat Initiative to establish best practices for the responsible use of this powerful tag. Looking to the future, they're collaborating with isomorphic labs to explore drug design applications and are constantly working to improve the system's algorithms, making it even more versatile. And they're not doing this alone. They're working closely with experts in machine learning, biochemistry, and structural biology to advance the system responsibly and and effectively. So, the future of protein design is looking pretty exciting. But there's another huge breakthrough I'm pumped about, and it's a game changer for both AI and material science. Orb, the latest AI model for simulating advanced materials. It's open source, super fast, and even outperforming big names like Google and Microsoft. If you're into AI, energy, or cutting edge tech, you're going to love this. Let me break it down. Imagine you're a scientist designing materials for better batteries or solar panels, key components of the energy transition. To make these materials more efficient, you need to know what's happening at the atomic level, like how atoms and molecules interact and what makes certain materials conduct energy better. What traditional simulation methods are slow, costly, and often oversimplified. It's like trying to watch a 4K movie on dial-up internet. That's where AI steps in. Orb, built by a company called Orbital, is designed to simulate materials at atomic level faster and more accurately than anything else out there. And here's the kicker. It's five times faster than the best alternatives for large-scale simulations. This is a huge leap forward and it's not just beating random models. Orb is outperforming both Google's and Microsoft's models in terms of speed and accuracy. Even more exciting, they've opened source or for non-commercial use, meaning anyone, including startups, can use this groundbreaking tech for free. You can even check out their GitHub for a technical deep dive. Why does this matter? We're in the middle of a massive shift towards renewable energy, and materials are at the core of that. Batteries for electric cars, solar panels, semiconductors, you name it. The faster we can simulate and design these materials, the faster we can create better, more efficient, and longer-lasting products. Orb is going to accelerate that process in a big way. Orb's development is based on a larger AI model called Linus, which Orbital has been refining for a long time. Orb is essentially a supercharged version of Linus, fine-tuned specifically for advanced material simulations. The team behind this is a small, tight-knit group competing with the biggest names in AI and they've managed to come out on top. It's proof that you don't need to be a tech giant to make groundbreaking progress. So there you have it. Orb, the fastest and most accurate AI model for advanced material simulations, and it's free for non-commercial use. I can wait to see where this goes. Drop your thoughts in the comments, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into AI and tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.